So I did a bit of a dream. What should you do? Let's see. Like that. 11 inches each side. Okay. So there'll be a dart here for the shoulders, which I'm just going to try it on and see if that's where I want it. The whole patterns are starting to make sense. I find draping helps cross-reference. Okay, now this was a little tricky. I've uh, worked at the draping on this. I got the front and the back matched up, and now this was the tricky part, getting the shoulder in there. Or the, just so that it shapes roundly rather than flat front back you need that third dimension and I think I figured it out so we're making progress that's one shoulder in and I will match the other side to this one Okay, Honiahaka, it's a wolfie. Got the outside of this cloak done. I'll move over you. Come here. Honiahaka. Okay, he, uh, with draping, managed to get some shoulders in, which was a little tricky, but uh, and I figured it out, and uh, I think, and uh, it's fitting fairly well. So today I'm going to put the lining in. So now I need to figure that, and uh, I hemmed all along the edges too, even though it had its own finish. I figured it, if it was a, just a regular material, I would have had to. Anyway, plus I need something to attach the lining to inside, and I didn't want to sew through to the outside with the lining, so this way I'll be able to just... Um, so the lining to the hem. I'll get this done and then get to work on the dress, which uh, my plan has changed a little for the dress. I'm I'm planning to um, modify it into a one-piece dress rather than the uh, skirt and bowler bolero jacket. Uh, I thought uh, because in that you doing it in that way, I would have had to make a blouse as well. I think, and I'm I don't have time for that, even though I lo I love those kind of um, blouses. I'm not big on the high neck, so I found uh, a few other day dresses, uh, one piece, and I think I'm going to modify the design into a one piece uh, dress, but still keep the insertion lace and soutache detailing. So, um, looking at uh, going to be looking for patterns, I may end up draping it, but I, I do want to make sure that I, I get uh, the silhouette um, as close as possible, so I may go with some pattern to work them out. Um, and I don't expect it to take so long. I, I um, think I should be able to finish that by the end of this week, the dress, the construction, and then have time for the detailing and photos. Hey, Indelible. Hi, Dale. Say hi, Dale. This, that's Indelible and her niece, Honiahaka. Girls. Girls, girls. Grooming time, is it? Yeah. Okay. Dale. 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 They just had lunch. I folded the cloak in half here. Uh, what I'm going to do, I think, to um, get the lining going, is measure this. You can see the line here. So from he this line down, this line down to the bottom, and uh, consider that to be the back and uh, get the measurements of that and cut that out of the lining material and also then I may have to open this up and do it uh, that way but then get the yoke 
and the sleeves. I think I'll do it in those pieces. Uh, and then there will also be a couple of little front panels for the front, I guess, as well to attach. So I think I'm going to do the lining in pieces like that. Ten and a quarter. So twenty point five. Lines. So let's see, twenty one by thirty eight point five. Try that. That will be for the back lining and go from there. <laughs> 